All right, what's going on you guys? JT, Boxing Home Workouts. Today we are gonna do six rounds where we mix up a number of themes within the round or ways to focus. So we're gonna split up the round uh, in 30 second intervals focusing on a different aspect of boxing and we're gonna repeat that for six rounds. We got a one minute break. In the first 30 seconds, we're gonna focus on the jab. Just the jab, double jab, moving around, working on the jab, everything off the jab in any way you want, feel free to be creative. In the second 30 seconds, after the bell goes, I want you to punch, slip, punch. So just get used to putting your slips between your punches. One, two, slip, two, one, two, three, slip, three, whatever you feel like, whatever's working for you. Punch, slip, punch. Okay, work that head movement in between. For the next 30 seconds, we're gonna work on attacking the body. Bam, 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 boom. Okay, doesn't mean more shots have to go to the body, it just means attacking the body is on your mind. Boom, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. Okay, so just start to throw, throw a few more punches down on the body. Next 30 seconds, we're working the pull counter. Huh, bam, okay, can be pull, bam, 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 pull, hook, like whatever you want. Can be punches, combos off the pull, or you can even go one, two, pull, bam, right? You can start to mix the pull counter into everything you're doing. Next 30 seconds, block and counter. Block, bam, 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 okay? Block a punch, boom, boom, boom. You imagine your opponent is throwing something, you block it, you counter right back. In the final 30 seconds, we'll just do the light tap Mayweather punch out. Boom, okay, just light tap punching. Then we'll take a full minute break so we can get some good recovery, and then we'll go again for six rounds, all right? So hope you guys are ready. Hit the like button for me if you haven't already. I really appreciate that, and let's get into it. All right, you guys, bell's gonna go soon. We're gonna start off working the jab. I'll call out each section as we go, just to keep you on point. And we're just gonna work this together, get in our own groove, get in our own rhythm. Okay, start with the jab when the bell goes. Ready, working the jab. Finding your range. Could be power, could be Speed can be flicking it. Blinding jab up top. Driving jab to the body, whatever works for you. All right, ready? Punch, slip, punch. Can be a combo that you like, or you mix it up. Working the slips in there. Working the head movement. Attacking the body. Attacking the body. Put it together. Attacking the body, put it together. Pull counter, switch it up. You can punch, then pull, or just pull straight off the bat. Find your balance, work it. All right, block and counter. Block. Block. Block and counter. Maybe you want to block again. Block, counter, block, counter. Block those shots. Okay, punch it out, 30 seconds.
and time. All right, relax, enjoy yourself. We got a full minute to recover. So we're working those same themes again. And we only have 30 seconds each. So whatever you didn't get to, you wanna go back to that. Maybe you wanna try something new or maybe you wanna improve on what you worked on. Don't put so much pressure on yourself to go hard and fast in the first couple of rounds. We've got a couple of rounds to kind of get warmed up, get in the groove. If this is not enough for you, you could always do another one of my little workouts before or after or mix up the rounds. Okay, but this six rounds, you know, you get a good warm up and get, you can still get in some quality work. Shadow boxing as well on your own time. Okay, so we're gonna get going pretty soon. Start with the jab. Remember, we got double jab. Then we have light and hard. Then we have boom, back fist jab. Then jab to the body, lots of stuff. Jab is a southpaw, boom. Okay, I think I'm gonna go southpaw in this round. Mix it up and have some fun. Here we go. And I'm moving with it. Working it. All right, punch, slip, punch. Couple punches and slip. Next, pull counter. Let the head sway back. Keep the chin tucked. Block and counter. Block those shots and counter. Throw them block. Okay, punch out, touch up. Just let the hands go. Punch out, keep it going. Time, all right. Relax, recover, enjoy yourself. Ah. Breathe and relax, enjoy yourself. Nice work. The thing about this kind of theme stuff I like is you can get more creative as you go. First you're like, oh, I didn't do that, I did that. Okay, now I gotta work on something else. Or you feel something that maybe is not working right and you're like, okay, I gotta go back to that. I gotta get a little bit faster, a little bit smoother. So we really get in the groove of working on something, but being creative at the same time. Okay, relax. Relax your shoulders, breathe. Get a nice minute break. Not really any combos to worry about or think about, we just work. All right, and uh, we're about to get into this. Uh, start with the jab. We're gonna get through it again. Round three coming up.
Ready with the jab, let's go. You can let another punch sneak in there if you want. All right, punch, slip, punch. Let's go. Move the head. Attacking the body. Let's go. Keep working it. Pull counter. Blocking counter. Work on it. Block counter. Block counter. You may block twice. Poncho, let's go. Quick. Doesn't have to be hard, but quick. Let those shoulders work. Breathing. All right, and relax and breathe. Ah, and enjoy. Okay, we're halfway through. Usually we work a lot of eight round, 10 round, 12 round. You know, with these, you can go a little bit harder. You can see me, I'm almost trying to hold myself back from going, 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 going. So, but you find a good pace that works for you to keep yourself in that flow. We got 30. Sweet seconds to just relax, Ooh, recover, and enjoy. So the next round, we go even harder, look even better. All right? Whatever you want to work. Jab, you can mix in a couple other punches with it. Move your head off the jab, right? Body, head, you know, make it sharp, make it crisp, make it accurate. So much you can do. All right, here we go. Let's work it. Okay, punch to the punch. All right. 
Alright, body. Attack your body. Pull counter. Okay, block encounter. Eyes forward. Block encounter. Punch up. Let's work it. Okay, relax, recover, enjoy it, enjoy it. Let the shoulders work loose. Work in a bunch of different ways to focus your boxing. Then get a little bit of punch out at the end for endurance, okay? It's a nice way really to kind of be free, but still focus in on something, really put your mind to work. Breathe and relax, got a nice, long, sweet break. Nothing to think about. Just going to the next round, round number five. Kind of feeling clear-minded, and whatever comes to us within that focus, we go for it. All right, here we go, jab focus. Punch the punch. Punch the punch. You can even dip. Dip. Bam. Attack the body. Pull counter. Hmm. 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 Hmm.
Block and counter. Punch, block, and counter. Work it. Punch out. Punch out. Keep working. Ah, okay. Take it easy, take a breather. I should have said this in the beginning, but you know you can do this shadow boxing too. Okay, you don't have to do it on the bag only. But if you have a bag to work with, often makes it a lot more fun. Only thing is like uppercuts and certain kinds of movement, it's hard to simulate that on the bag. So, you know, you take it for what it's worth. Okay, one more round to go. It's kind of workout where it leaves you feeling invigorated. Like, you probably do some more later or do some more early tomorrow. I mean, we all want those workouts that flatten us, but sometimes one that we go, go intense, a little shorter, Leaves you invigorated is a good thing. Okay, take a breath. We've got one more round to go. Here we go. Let's work the jab. Punch the punch. Move your head. All right, attack the body. Dig. Set him up up top. Then go low. Work the jab up top. Go downstairs. Work it. Pull counter. Okay, block and counter. Punch out, let's go. Let's do it. Touch him up. Tap, 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 tap. Hang in there.
All right, time. Time. Great work, you guys. Great work. All right. Hope you had fun doing that. I certainly did. I love the combos. I love giving you something specific. Every now and then, we, you've done enough combos, you got to own your boxing. Make it your own. Create your own, your own style. What you do within certain scenarios. So we have it a little bit guided here, but you get to feel your own habits, right? When you're working the jab, you're still building your other habits. Movement, cover when you're done, right? Add another punch here and there. The creativity comes out of repetition. Once you repeat enough stuff, then you, you kind of almost get bored. That's when you start to get creative. You're like, oh, maybe I'll add this, maybe i add this. Okay, so it comes through the work. Anyways, make sure you hit the like button for me. I appreciate you doing this workout with me. It's fun, fun for me to be here knowing that I'm with you guys. Uh, on my other channel, Precision Striking, you can, I have a members section there where I have exclusive videos. You might want to go check that out. It's only $3.99 a month for exclusive videos. And my live streams are there. I also have live streams every Saturday, 11 a.m. Eastern. Check that out. PrecisionStriking.com for instructionals, all that kind of stuff. Anyways, in the meantime, I'll see you guys again here. Keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Woo!